Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to do a fairly tricky edit here. Oh, it's not that difficult on how to do a reflection in water. So here we go. Let's start off. We are going to take this picture here. Um, we're going to be playing around things. We're just going to take off the locks so we can flip around with it to a control J to duplicate it. And we want the an underneath image, so I'm just going to take that top layer off to so look at this underneath image, and we want to flip it for it to be a, a uh, reflection. So I'll just do a range and flip vertical. So there you go. But I want to put this down below, so I'm going to zoom out a bit here. Turn on the back layer, top layer again there. There we go, that one. And I want to stretch the canvas. I could go up here and do document resize canvas, but a quick way of doing it is just to grab the bottom do a crop tool first grab the bottom and drag this down until the side nodes notice those two little side squares are right at the bottom of the picture so i've doubled the size of the picture there i can always recrop if it's not quite right so there we go and apply that and there we've got an empty space at the bottom so i'm now going to take my reflection image go to the move tool and just drag it down to get to the bottom I've got the snapping on so it falls into place quite quickly. So there we go. Now we want to do a um, put in ripples into it. So let's turn off the top layer because we're going to put things above here, which is a initially just an add pixel layer. It's just an empty pixel layer, so you can't see anything. But we're going to go to filters, noise, and Perlin noise. And what you get with Perlin noise is this. And you can go from very small, fine dots to, and it's sort of blobby stuff, you know, it, it's, uh, and with the persistence, you can make it finer and so on. Octaves, don't do too much, doesn't do too much. Zoom is the main one in terms of the, what it does. And these are going to be turned into the ripples. So let's go to about there. That looks good enough and apply that. So there's the beginnings of the ripples. Now, because we're going to blend it in later with a, uh, a contrast mode, we want it to be grey. And also a, a trick to do this is to go filters, colours and emboss. And it starts off blank, but if I turn up the radius, it goes, it's now going to be grey and white. And if I turn the amount up here, you can see it gets stronger and so on. So we'll make it a little bit stronger. Because the, the movement's going to be side to side, I can try rotation on this and see which looks best in terms of what sort of sideways patterning you're going to get in here. That actually looks not bad like that. You see a lot of sideways bits. So we'll apply that. Now to make it sort of, you know, with some more sideways stuff, we're just going to take this and stretch it down like this. Until it's about halfway, we'll make it to the same size of that picture. There we go. So we've got more of a sideways squeeze there. And I'm going to take the perspective tool and stretch sideways again. With and this is going to make the at the bottom going to be sort of bigger than the top. So it gives that sense of distance in it. And we'll apply that. And now you can already see this is the kind of picture you can see the waves appearing here and this is what we're going to do we want this to be a displacement map so i'm going to take this here drag this underneath the image here then when i go up to that image and go to filters distort and displace and we'll zoom into here a bit to see a bit more of what's happening we click load map from layers beneath, which means use this layer under here as a displacement map so that when I turn this up, it's going to start to ripple. And if we apply this, you're going to see it appearing properly. You can see it, it's, it's not appearing in all of this here, it's just, it's just it hasn't rendered it fully. But if I apply that, there you go, you can see it's actually done it properly now. And we've got this lovely ripple now, which makes it look really great like a kind of I don't know like a reflection in water um, so let's control zero to go out again to see all that we can turn on the top one 
and we've got a reflection here but this looks a little bit too bright doesn't it so we're going to put a bit of color into that so with this selected i'm going to put in a fill layer so i'm going to go to layer new fill layer and that comes it up with a color that i want so i can click on this here and set a color so let's set a kind of a dark blue there but if i want to blend that in now i'll go to the blend mode and normal go down here and overlay soft light i'm going to go to overlay it's a bit dark but it means i can control that with the opacity to see whatever color i want so let's say put it about there now then let's have a little bit of a riverbank this is now the final touches so i'm going to add a pixel layer uh, i'm going to drag that up to the top that's where i need that because i want it to be on both of these i'm going to go to brushes the paintbrush Go to brushes over here and I want a rough brush. So I'm instead of going to basic brushes, I'm going to go down to uh let's say texture. What have I got here? Let's take the top one of those. And we want a brown colour on this. So the colour here, and the trick here is if you get red up the top, green in the middle, and blue at the bottom, you get orange. But if you stretch these down in proportions, like a dark orange is a brown. So you can make yourself a brown by just getting these three in a straight line like this. And then let's move into here. And we want to paint, so we're painting on this top layer above everything else here. So we can create ourselves a bit of a riverbank. You can make it a bit rough if you like here. Yeah, whatever painting you'd like to do that, you could even add colour on that. So make it just put a uh, almost say close to black on that make the brush a bit smaller if i click here and shift click it'll go all the way across a little line there you can kind of rough this up and so on i'm doing it very quickly here but, but you can see that what you you're the kind of thing that you're doing then control zero looks out and there we go that's finished they've got a heron standing on the bank of a river that's slightly darker ripply heaven beneath it so thank you very much for watching